Hey everybody, Little Jay here from Marshall May Collectibles, and I'm here to remind you that this channel is meant for the mature, sometimes immature, adult collector. That means no kids or children should be listening or watching. Besides, when Jace does these reviews, we don't know what the hell he's going to say. Hey everybody, this is Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we have a very cool unboxing for you guys. This is not a total figure. What it is is a kit. You're going to require a body to complete it, but this is the Mr. Toys Ancient Warrior, MT2018-2, but... Despite all that nonsense, it's it's freaking Conan. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan. Um, there's been quite a few Conans that have been made. In fact, if you look back in my video archive, back in the day where I had like zero production value, I did a Conan um, review that was done by, uh, I think it was Caustic Plastic. In fact, they just recently re-released -re Conan. They've done him several times. Um, but this Conan has... Uh, actual real hair, which I think will fit in nicely with the TB League figures that I've been falling in love with here lately, whether it be my Red Sonya, the Hercules figure, they just kind of have that, that more realistic look. Now, the caustic one that came out, the head sculpt, is very nice. I didn't think the paintwork looked that spectacular on it, but everything else with that set looked pretty stellar. Uh, what we have here is Mr. Toy's version, which is the head, the outfit, everything that you're going to need except for the base body, which is going to require you to get like a TB League um, body, which I have right here. And this is just their M35, which is everyone calls it their Arnold body because that's what it is, uh, which will be perfect for this. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and open this up and put the kit together, and uh, I will give you some thoughts on it. The packaging is really simple. They've got a uh, product photo on the front, the Mr. Toys logo there. You've got the Arnold sitting there looking all badass as Conan on the front, which is an actual picture of the set all put together. Sides are just plain with the model number. On the back, you have a, another uh, pose of the figure done up. And it's that classic Arnold pose, like where he was up on the hill and practicing with his sword. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we get with our ancient warrior. <coughs> Conan. <coughs> Conan. Okay, and once you remove this slip cover, all it is is a plain little black box. And it's all done up in foam, which protects everything nicely. Uh, before I get started, I want to go ahead and uh, give a shout out where I got this from. Now, this came from 1-6 Kit. I can highly recommend them uh, 100%. They are amazing to deal with. Uh, the body came from KG Hobbies. I absolutely love dealing with them as well. Uh, two fantastic overseas dealers that are just spectacular. And I know this isn't licensed and a lot of people aren't going to like that simply because it's not a licensed figure, but there are so many unlicensed pieces out there now. It's kind of hard to be self-righteous about that when it comes to certain things. Uh, I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes for intellectual properties. I'm just saying the products are out there. Uh, if these were made by a uh, uh, an actual manufacturer that had the license, you would be looking at 250 at least up for some of this stuff. With that said, this kit cost me all of like 70 bucks. Um, and that was shipped overseas with free shipping. And the bodies, depending on where you buy them, the bodies can range anywhere from mid 50s all the way up to like 80 bucks. So, um, the be a smart shopper. Look around. Let's go ahead and open. Uh, we've got this opened up. Let's take a look at what we get. Um, first thing you got is you do have some really nice uh, boots. They're leather-like material. They do have hard plastic soles. They have like the little fur top and the, the leather strips all around them. These look like Conan just bought them off the showroom floor, so I will be heavily weathering these. Uh, they definitely need some. They've got like some dirt applique on the soles. Man. Those soles look way too production for what Conan should have. I don't know. I'm thinking like it should be like a soft leather sole or maybe something that looks sculpted instead of looking like a combat boot. But um, that it is too shiny, it is too nice looking, and uh, some Tamiya weathering kit will uh, 
definitely bring that more as a realistic look. And these are uh, a peg. You can feel the hard um, foot that's in there, and those will just snap onto the body. I do like that they're going to be poseable. You know, you'll be able to get him in some stances where they're not just hard and rigid. Uh, that's that. And what we have here, we have a leather-like belt. It's got a real metal buckle. You've got the wrist gauntlet. And it's got the little brass rivet things on there. Looks really well done. It's got the laces to cinch it up. Um, that is like his undergarment or his ball hugger. <laughs> That's what's going to go uh, over the fur. And uh, the belt will go over that. And then you have his fur shorts. Those look really well done. And it just looks like it's made from that fun fur, but it's got a nice pattern to it, so it's not solid. And we have, I have no idea what that is. That's Velcroed. Not sure. We'll figure that out here in a minute. It is Velcroed. There's Velcro on this side. I don't think that's a wrist thing. It shouldn't be black. I don't know. We'll, I'll figure that out. I hope. Uh, and that's it for the top, except for the head sculpt. So let's take a look at that. Oh, uh, we'll be working on this hair. It is too clean. He looked like he just did a Lady Clairol commercial. Yeah, that definitely looks like that is a uh, Terminator head sculpt that's been retooled to have the hair done but it looks good yeah it looks really good i'm excited about this i'm a huge conan fan i, I love the movies when i was a kid hell i loved red sonya when it came out uh okay and then we have our bottom tray which has our belt Some nice detailing there. That gold is way too shiny, so that needs to be a little weathered up too, I think. All this leather really needs to be weathered. It looks like he just went to Warriors R Us and got all this stuff directly off the shelf. There is like nowhere whatsoever on any of this. And it's it doesn't take a lot to weather something. A little dry brushing technique and you can bring something to complete life. And this, a little dry brushing uh, with some blacks and browns. And that will make all that detail really pop. Uh, scabbard. And that's got like, a, like an imprint on it, like some design that's done on it. it. Looks like it's etched or scratched into it. And that'll be for the sword. You do have his knife. That's nice. That's actually die cast. That looks good. That looks really good. Um, oh, we've got his headband there. We'll do that one. And here's his sword. Now, I, there's a lot of people that... that will freak out over this because it doesn't look exactly right or something's not I think it looks good. Is it 100% movie accurate? I don't know. I'm I don't sweat the small stuff for 70 bucks. I'm so far I'm tickled pink about this. It has some really lovely uh sculpted details. Beautifully done. And again, this is metal, not plastic. There is some good weight to that. 
And this should have his headband and the different necklaces, including the jade necklace. Really well done. Again, extremely clean. Nice details. Got the little teeth. Again, the teeth are way, 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 way too white. Again, a little brown wash over that would make that look spectacular. And I will tell you a little trick too. These threads, these threads are shite. That thread does not really translate well as, as a leather strip. And I'm going to tell you what I do for stuff like this that has like thread and string. I use wax thread, like what people use to like sew wallets together and what have you. That stuff is wonderful in 1-6 customizing because it will look like um, actual like leather bands or whatever you want. And it looks more realistic and it is so much stronger than this cheap ass thread stuff. And you'll still be able to get it through all the, like the little holes and whatnot. And you can get that stuff cheap through Amazon. You can get a pack for like all the different colors for like five bucks. And then you have the jade two-headed snake thing. That feels like it's, no, that's probably resin. It's got a little coldness to it again cheap ass thread through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him together and then I'm going to show you what he looks like just straight out of the box put together. And then I am going to have at mine and show you what he can look like. Okay, everybody. And we're back and I have Conan put together. Well, so far put together. Uh, this is straight out of the box, right on the body. And I got to say, there's a lot to like about this kit. There's a lot that needs to be fixed as well. Um, but seriously, for the price point, uh, I know I mentioned that Caustic Plastic has put out a Conan uh, set as well. That one will also require you to get a TB uh, League body or a Fison body to complete it. And that one has a price point of around $200, uh, where this one is only 7 I did reach out to Fabio from uh, Caustic to see if he wants me to review it or do a comparison. Haven't heard back at the time of me doing this review, so... Uh, for right now, we're just going to do this one. This Mr. Toys version is a pretty cool figure. Uh, there are some things that need to be futzed with and fixed with. I mean, there's just no way around it. The leather looks way too new throughout the whole thing. I think his hair is actually a little too long. Uh, need to replace those threads with something different, like I was talking about earlier, some wax threads like you use to sew wallets together. That stuff is cheap. And the other thing is... Some of the parts don't fit exactly as, as well as I would like them to. Uh, first off, the boots. The boots were a complete bitch to get onto the uh, metal pegs below. You don't really want to heat them up because those pleather booty kind of things that the, the boots are made out of would probably melt or distort, so you don't want to do that. Um, I'm really not liking how they look either because of uh, the soles, which look like prefab, almost like uh, combat boot soles, which... They shouldn't look like that. They should be almost like a smooth leather. Uh, when I do my um, customizing on this piece, I might actually sand those soles down and make them smooth and uh, do something inside where either maybe I remove those pegs because they don't fit well and put in the actual TB League uh, foot pegs in there. I don't know. We'll see when I get in there. Of course, I'm going to replace all the strings with the uh, waxed thread. And then this piece here, it doesn't actually even fit that wrist that well. It's almost too tight. Um, I don't know if maybe the Velcro shouldn't have been on it at all. I've tried it different uh, scenarios where that's up and the other part's lower. It doesn't really matter. They did not put a taper in it. So I think I might just actually take the Velcro off, put eyelets in, and then stitch it up like I do the other side um, and uh, have that be the look. And I'm also going to weather the parts where they look more um, more worn. So this is how he looks right now out of the box. And when I come back in just a minute, I'm going to show you what he looks like if you take a little time with him. And we're back. It's been about 25 minutes since I stopped the last video. And I have weathered him and did some customizing touches. Now, 
inevitably, whenever I do something like this, I'll get uh, messages, either uh, private messages or even some comments down below like, well, I wish I could do that. Really, nothing that I did here uh, is anything that that uh, somebody couldn't do. I'm, it doesn't take a tremendous amount of skill to do what I've just done to modify him and make him look so much better. Um, I'll go ahead and do it from like uh, toe to head. And the first thing I did is I went ahead and I weathered these boots heavily. I just did it with some brown and black washes. I also, let's go ahead and take him off the stand. I got rid of those treads. I hated those treads on there because it didn't look natural for a barbarian to have like combat boot treads. And that was simple enough just to sand it. And I went ahead and painted the soles that dark brown to match the boots. So when all was said and done, it it matches. It's it's what it's supposed to look like. He shouldn't look like he's wearing combat boots. And then I went ahead and redid those straps as well. The little black piece that they gave for this wrist gauntlet I thought was a piece of shit. So I went ahead and just took a piece of leather, punched some holes in it. And I used this as a template, but I made it a little bit bigger because this piece didn't really seem to fit. And it works better, looks more like Conan the Barbarian would wear instead of some black piece of pleather with Velcro on it. Uh, I went ahead and weathered the belt. I weathered the little scabbard for the knife. Uh, I also weathered the uh, opposite uh, side um, gauntlet with the little uh, gold bits on there. I also removed all thread from everything. Anything that had a piece of thread is gone. It's been replaced with wax thread, like I said before, like you would use to sew wallets. Uh, that's been, that's now wax thread. That's wax thread. Uh, even this is wax thread, and I weathered that as well, the little uh, green jade necklace. Uh, this is now on a piece of wax thread, and I spaced out the teeth, and I glued those on, uh, and they're bound through the back. So they will hold in place. Uh, the belt with it, with it weathered, you really can see the detail now. Uh, I will have some HD photos here at the end that you can see. Because he's hyper-realistic figure, I did go ahead and paint his nipples. It's not something I normally do, um, but he does have nipple paint. Um, I did go ahead and condition the hair and then comb it out with a old toothbrush and get that in uh, the way I wanted it. I also cut it a little bit. I took about uh, close to a half an inch off, which it's still pretty long, but it looks better. Uh, and it's even. The way it was, it was really long on one side, had a real massive curl, did not like it. I did weather the headband as well. And with that, I removed that big uh, cloth looking string that was on there that looked like it was like a yo-yo string and replaced it with wax thread. Again, binding that, see how much that looks better. That almost looks like it's leather binding. And I did weather the scabbard for the sword. And the only other thing is I wrapped the hilt cause it was painted just white. I wrapped that with some ivory wax thread to give it more of a, a, a hilt look like something that had been bound. And it just looks so much better. In fact, I think now, uh, without a doubt, he is an awesome looking Conan figure. Um, you could do the pants if you wanted to do that that other look, but I think he is perfect and he will fit in awesome with my uh, Red Sonya. And I can't wait to have him displayed next to her. But um, for what you get, like 70 bucks for the kit, I know some people have paid upwards of 35, 45, even over $50 for just a head. For 70 bucks to get everything, yeah, you have to tweak it a little bit, but uh, after it's tweaked, I think it looks freaking stellar. Um, the only other thing I would uh, caveat, I would tell people to be careful of, when you're putting on the trunks, um, the fur ones, uh, they will shed. It'll look like you threw a cat in a blender. And they're cut in a certain way that one side has a straight across and the other side has almost a V dip down and uh, the and, and the way they're sewn. I put that V in the front because I didn't want that fur popping up over the belt. I wanted it, him to have more material in the back covering his butt and then just leave that to be where it's at. But you can see where this just, it molts. It just wants to come off. Eventually, what I think I'll do is I'll replace those trunks all together with something made out of rabbit fur. Um, I carry a little 
swatches of stuff like that it would be really easy to make and it would probably look a lot better than this and it wouldn't be molting where a little fur is going to be coming off everywhere all in all like i said 70 bucks for the kit i think it is stellar if you are a conan fan uh, i do not see where you could go wrong with this now, if you hang back, I'll go ahead and have some HD photos of this guy, some before and after, and some really close-up of all the uh, all, all of his accessories. And I want to go ahead and thank all of our new subscribers. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and that bell icon. That way, every time I put out new content, you guys will be the first to know. I really appreciate all our longtime subscribers and sticking with us, and the channel really has grown a lot over the last couple months, and without you guys, it wouldn't be possible, so I humbly, deeply thank all of you for making that happen. And again, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Thank you for watching, and take care.